Hi everyone and welcome back. Of course, my name is John with Education Solutions and I would like to show you how you can find a template inside of your Google Drive in order to handle all of your grades. Let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing that you will do is you will open up your Google Drive folder here and you'll come over to this, this uh, plus sign that says new and you'll drop down to where it says Google Sheets. Now normally you can just make a blank spreadsheet and go from there. However, if you take a look here where it says from a template, it will bring you to this page right here and you can choose from a number of different templates here. It's uh, quite useful. But if you go all the way down to the bottom here, we've got attendance, gradebook, and assignment tracker. So in this particular video, I want to show you how we can use our gradebook. All right, so inside of the gradebook, once you open up your template here, you'll see that it'll talk about your overview. And what you'll have to do first before you jump into it is decide on your grading system here. So it's, this is all preset for you. So uh, depending on what your school requires um, or the standards that you have, you can change this one up here uh, to determine what an A plus is or what an F is um, uh, from your scores here. Okay, so once you've determined that or if you wanna just keep it how it is, that's fine as well. You'll come down here to the very bottom and you'll see that we've got these grades tab right here. So if you click on the grades tab, I've set up just a few example students right here. Um, and then we've got our homework one, quiz one, midterm and final right here. Now, depending on how many assignments you have, I think that you can set up as many as you like here. But uh, de depending on how many assignments you have, you can set the, uh, the scores that these are out of as well. And this will automatically weight all of your scores here and it will average them out as well. So let's say that I've got, and let's see with my final right here, it's out of 100. And I've got student number 10. He or she's already sitting at an F based on their other scores, uh, scores from their assignments here. And let's say that maybe they, they get an absolute, they knock it out of the park. You can see here that it still weighted them as a C right here. So they've got a 76% average. Okay, so, uh, but let's say that for instance, if they got uh, maybe an 88, or a, uh, let's say even a 75 on that. Okay, so that would drop them down to a D. Now, what you can do here, especially this, this is especially good if you've got a big class, what you can do is you can go over to the next tab, which says individual report. And in your individual report, we can start up here and there's a drop down menu. You've got all of your students that are set up. So if I'm looking at student one, uh, I can see here, I've got my class average is set up here in this, uh, pinkish colored line right here for the homework quiz one the midterm and the final right here so I can tell how my class is doing as a whole and then I can also see my individual students here so let's see I looked at the student number 10 here the one that I just put in um, as having a relatively low score and we can look at this one and we can see that we've got this class average of course and uh, you might have this student here that dropped down right here at the midterm. So that would be your indication right here to go ahead and, and reach out to this student and try and help this person out because you can see that they've got a class, or sorry, an average of a D, uh, but the class average is a B minus right here. So this is a very helpful way to kind of set up your grades and um, also, if you want to change anything in this, it's completely customizable and the, um, in the class name and then also in the overview as well when you come back here. So uh, let's see, I do believe that should just about do it. So I really do hope that you're able to use the free gradebook that's within the Google Sheets uh, templates right here. And please do send a comment down below if you have any kind of questions at all. If you have any videos that you would like to see, then I would be happy to set those up for you. Also, please be sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel so that you can always be updated with future videos. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.